If you filmed a video and you've got something really annoying in the back of the frame and it's ruining your shot, don't worry, we can remove it using Adobe After Effects. Let me show you how. So inside of Adobe After Effects, you first need to figure out what you want to remove. And in my example, I want to remove this mini tripod from the shot. Now I'm lucky with this shot because it's a static shot and nobody's walking in front of that object. So it's quite easy to do it in this shot. If the camera was moving or if somebody was interacting with the thing that you wanted to remove, then you would have to do some tracking and you would have to rotoscope the person that covered the shot. There's quite a lot of work to do in that example. But if you've got a simple shot like this, all you need to do is just zoom into that object at the very beginning, go to the pen tool at the top of After Effects and just draw a mask around that object like this. Then we'll go into that video, go into masks, go into the mask and select add. And then we're going to change that to subtract. So we've essentially just removed what is inside that mask. Now you can add a little bit of feathering and some shots might need it, some shots might not. I'm going to try it without in this example. Then you want to go up into window and make sure content aware fill is enabled. We'll just drag that up onto the right so we can see what we're doing. And then this is the window we're looking for. So fill method, we're going to either select object, surface or an edge blend. I'm going to go for surface in this example. Then I'm going to go into range and I'm going to select the entire duration. So work area is going to be these markers like this or the entire duration will be the entire duration of the clip. So I'm just going to select entire duration. You can create a reference frame if you wanted to. Now inside of Photoshop, we could go to the clone stamp tool. We could increase the brush size, increase the hardness. Hold down option if you're on Mac. I believe it might be Alt on Windows, but you want to hold that down until you get this up here. Then you want to go somewhere where it's quite similar because we're going to copy this and basically paste it over there. So hold option or Alt, select the bit that you want to copy and then we'll move over. And as you can see, I can now paste this in. You can see mine definitely needs some more work, but for now, I'm just going to leave it at that so I can show you the next step. So if we go back into After Effects, we can now select Generate Fill Layer. Now, as you can see, this has finished analyzing. It hasn't quite finished rendering yet, but if we go through frame by frame, we have a look at this video. You can see it's actually filled that in and it's done a pretty good job of it. Of course, there are some imperfections, so I would probably need to add this line back in here. However, if we zoom out, you can barely even notice it. So this was it before. And now this is it afterwards. So you can see just by going to the content aware fill, creating that reference image and then analyzing it, you can see we completely remove that object. Now the way this works is After Effects essentially just puts a small image in that gap. So if I turn off the original video, you can see we have this small image. That means if somebody was to walk in front of the background in the video, they would appear behind that hole, that image that's just been created. So you would have to go through and rotoscope them out over the background. So it's a little bit more complicated and an extra step to keep in mind. However, if you're looking for a fairly easy way to remove items from the back of your shot, then the content aware fill tool inside of Adobe After Effects is a great way of doing this.